we're dealing with a chemical relaxer that goes on your head and if not properly used, Welcome back, welcome back. Hello subbies and hello newbies. That's anybody, perhaps, checking me out for the first time, maybe just ran in, wanted to see what was going on. It's okay, I appreciate you coming in and stopping by, but I would just love it if you and my subbies were to come on in, come on in, come on in and stay a while. Today, well, this is going to be a quickie because I, I, I don't even know where to start. Okay, I know where to start. And it's very funny that we're going to talk about this because I did touch on this or these two points that I'm going to bring up. I touched on these two points in my previous 10 things or 10 rules I don't follow. One was in part one and the other one was in part two. So I'm just going to combine these and just going to address it really quickly and then we, we going to be out. So yeah, I've seen this before and I just recently saw it again. I've seen videos where, and they're relaxer videos. So they're about to put the relaxer on their hair. They put the relaxer on, you know, they prep their scalp because a lot of people base their scalp, which means they basically either coat it with some type of petroleum jelly or something to basically buffer or protect the scalp from the relaxer touching the scalp and prevent early burning or burning, period. It's supposed to. Long story short, I've seen quite a few videos where, okay, they put on the relaxer, they're, they're putting it on, and before they're even finished, it starts to burn. So instead of stopping, they continued with the application and applying it over the rest of their head. Meanwhile, they're grimacing, they're squinting, and they're basically, thugging through it, if you will. One girl was close to tears, but instead of stopping, she persevered and did her whole head. And then she went to wash it out. And even while she was washing it out, she was in pain and, and she's grimacing and she's complaining and this and that. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, why are we doing this? Not only did she go to wash it out, but she went to wash it out in the shower. So she's in the shower and the chemical relaxer is washing over her face, is coming all down her body, of course, and she's washing and it's barely, I mean, it's outlining her eyes and I am, I am watching this in horror. And I'm not trying to be overly dramatic. I'm telling you, when I was watching this, I I almost went like this. I almost covered my eyes. I I It was hard for me to watch. I'll just leave it like that. It was hard for me to watch. Because her eyes were open and it really doesn't matter whether your eyes are open or not. It's a chemical. It's a chemical that's going over your face. Guys, we should not be doing this. We should not be doing either of these things. We are dealing with a chemical. We are dealing with a chemical that is very caustic, especially if you if it's not used in the proper manner, in the proper amount of time, and washed out properly. I know a lot of us, uh, a lot of us OGs that are already familiar, we're just used to you know DIYing and doing our relaxers or whatever. We still have to be careful and not be careless. Now I don't know how long these people have been doing their relaxers, regardless. I'm just saying as far as when you're doing your relaxer, you need to still take precautions. I don't care if you've done it once or 1,000 times or a million times. Each time you're dealing with a chemical, it's the same chemical. First of all, burning is not a sign that the relaxer is working. Now, I've seen that before. I've heard that before where people put the relaxer on their hair and they actually wait for the burn. They believe that the burn means that it is working and then it's time to wash it out. That is not true. Nothing could be further from the truth. Burning is a sign of danger. 
You know, when you work out and you know, they say, oh, feel the burn, feel the burn. Because feeling the burn in that case, it means that your muscles or the lactic acid is building in your muscles and therefore changing and building and growing, you know, getting bigger. Nothing could be further from the case when it comes to relaxers. Burning is a sign that you have reached the danger zone. You need to wash it out. You don't need to wait any longer. Once you start feeling burning, it's over with. You gotta wash it out, otherwise you could scar your scalp. You can incur burns on your scalp. It's a chemical burn. The relaxer is activated as soon as it is mixed with the activator. And then once you put it on your hair, it goes to work. It goes to work in relaxing your strands. And then once you smooth it out, that helps seal the process and get it straighter. But burning is not a sign that it is working. When you put it on your hair, it is working. It is starting to work already. So we really need to keep that in mind for those of us who may have learned old school way or, you know, have been part of those circles that, hey, once you start burning, let me know and then I'll wash it out. No, don't do that. If someone else is doing your relaxer, you don't wait until it starts to burn, then tell them, hey, we need to wash this out. You and the person who's doing your hair, Y'all need to look at the look at the instructions and see how long it's supposed to take this particular relaxer to basically fully relax. Now, on average, it's about 20 minutes. Okay, now it can vary with different relaxers. But no lie or lie, it doesn't matter. Either can burn. So if you start burning as soon as you apply to your hair at the roots, something is wrong. Something is broken in your whole system as far as either prepping for the relaxer or your technique as far as applying the relaxer. Either you touched your scalp, either you base too hard, because I told you I do not base my scalp. I do not touch my scalp at all up to two to three days before I relax. You don't wanna to touch it, you don't wanna scratch it, you don't want to irritate your scalp at all because that can lead to burning. We don't want burning. Or you're using a strong relaxer, you know, we speak against that over here. I really don't believe anyone really needs a super or ultra or ultra strong or super strong or whatever you want to name it. I do not recommend super relaxers. That's just my, that's just my two cents. Boom, boom. So maybe the relaxer is too strong, but there's something broken in that system. And of course, we're not applying it straight to the scalp. You're supposed to apply it to the roots. Apply it to the roots. And of course, when you spread it, sometimes, yeah, it's gonna to touch your scalp eventually, but it should not be starting out on your scalp. So maybe your application is incorrect as well. But we should not be looking for burning as a sign that relaxers are working because that is not true. Please do not believe that. And all those who are starting out to get your relaxers and maybe do it DIY, please keep that in mind. Do not wait for burning. If you start burning, it's time to wash it out. I don't care if you only did one corner of your head. Now I know that's gonna hurt your feelings, because you, you figure you went through all this prep or whatever and you only got one quarter of your head done, I'm telling you, I'd rather your feelings be hurt than your scalp be hurt, ting, and burning. It's not worth it, it's not worth it. Try it again four weeks later, or six weeks later, depending on you know what's going on. Try it again a, a, a little later, okay? Wait that full circle, but that's what I would do. Now, have I ever sat through burning? Yes, I have. Early on, when I was but a wee one, honey, when I just started my kitchen beauticianship, I didn't get my degree yet. So I was just starting under, you know, whatever, and just decided to buy the stuff and do the stuff myself. Yes, I did. I put on that relaxer, it started burning, but I waited, I said, no, I'm not done. And I'm smoothing it in and it's burning, it's burning around the sides just before I started prepping my sides. I didn't know to, you know, put Vaseline around the edges because that's where you can get a lot of friction. Your edges are very susceptible to a lot of manipulation and touching or whatever. So it's good to, you know, good to put Vaseline or some type of base 
around your edges or around your perimeter. Another one for you. But anyway, back to before, you know, to the burning and the, the whatever. I, I put on the relaxer and it's burning and you know, I'm putting it on and I smooth it out. And then I put my head over cause I don't jump in the shower. I put my head over the tub at that time and I let the water run. And when I tell you, it was just like, my head was on. It was, it's one of the worst feelings ever. It really is. It's one of the worst feelings ever. And so, you know, then I went to wash it and now you got to sort of massage your scalp without doing too much, but you want to get it clean and it's, you can feel your scalp pulsating and it feels tender and you're trying to work through it and you're grimacing through it and you're just like, but my hair is going to look good. It's okay. I, it's all right. Anyway, so then afterwards I, I blew it dry and, you know, did my thing and started and it looked okay. It did. It looked okay. I wrapped it up. I went to bed and let me tell you, when I woke up that next morning and I'm thinking, hey, I made it through. I made it, honey. I made it through. And I lived to tell the story. I took my hair down or tried to. And guess what? I couldn't take it down in certain parts because of my hair being stuck to my scalp at the roots. Because of the burning, my scalp has started to scab up. And in its scabbing up, it ensnared a lot of my hair at the roots and basically glued it to my scalp. It coagulated and, and firmed up and scabbed up and scabbed my hair to my scalp. So I had to take my time. Anybody else been through this? Anybody else? It's okay. This is a safe space around here, okay? We, we didn't know no better then. That's why I'm telling you now what I used to do or what I did back then because I don't do it now because now I know better. Because when you know better, you do better. Hello. Boom. So I had to basically wet my hair at the roots in the different parts where it was stuck. I had to wet it a little bit with water and try and disentangle where it was at the roots, where it was glued to my scalp. I had to wet it and sort of gently pull it, gently pull it. It's so crazy because even feeling it when you went to comb my hair or when I went to comb my hair, I couldn't get the comb through. I said, what is going on? I got a little scared. And that's what happened because my scalp has started to scab and basically coagulated and firmed up and scabbed up and caught my roots and glued them right to my scalp. So basically that was a sign you, you, you waited too long. You waited too long and you injured yourself. So that's what I did. I injured myself. I injured my scalp. And that's what can happen. And that can be a scary thing. It shouldn't be a thing of something that you just get used to. Because I've even heard that. Guys, we should not be getting used to injuring ourselves doing a relaxer. If you can't properly do a relaxer without ending up scabbed up, you need a professional to do it for you. You need somebody else to do it for you. It's not worth it. A relaxer is supposed to be a tool. It's supposed to, you know, be one of the options to, you know, styling your hair or however you want to label it. It's supposed to be a tool and not a weapon. I'm just saying. Even the kitty perms. I've seen where people use kitty perms because they figure, oh, what's a kitty perm? So it's not gonna burn. Well, someone I saw got a, very much a big surprise because they used a kitty perm and ended up getting burned anyway. Again, I don't know where the breakdown was, but it really doesn't matter because the fact was it started to burn, her eyes started to water, and I felt so bad for her. Kitty perm, no lie or lie, all are caustic, all are chemicals. It's a chemical relaxer that if not used properly and used in a proper way and washed in a proper way, washed out in a proper way, it can injure you. But with the washing, please do not wash out your relaxers in the shower. You don't need any chemicals rolling and cascading over your eyes. You don't need any of that getting near your eyes. It even says it on the instructions. 
It says, do not get near the eyes. Do not ingest it. This is a chemical. There's a reason why those warnings are on the instructions. I'd rather you bend over the sink, over the, the tub. Uh, I would not go in the shower to rinse out or wash out a relaxer. Like I said, I touched on it, but I really want to harp on it in this one, in this particular video, because I think some of us take too many chances and we don't take it seriously. We don't take it seriously that we are dealing with a chemical. It is a chemical where you can injure yourself. So please guys, let's take precautions. Let's take precautions and do it the right way so we can have a healthy result. It's not worth it. I, I would never tell someone to, you know, feel the burn and wait until, no, don't wait for nothing. You start feeling that burn, wash it out. I need you to wash it out. I don't need you to keep it in while it's burning. Then you're throwing up gang signs because you're trying to hold on and you're grimacing and you're looking all uh, like you possessed. Wash it out. It's not worth it. And I mean that. So, yeah, guys, um, I just had to address that. That was just, it was just on my spirit, you know, it was just on my, it was just, in, I just had to say something. Anyway, I done made my point. I'm putting a button on it and I'm moving on. But I want to thank you so much for dialing in and showing up. I really do appreciate it. I really, really do. And yeah, we'll be back talking about some more stuff, okay? We are going down the list and we adding some stuff because a couple of y'all asked for some stuff, so we're going to give you some more stuff so there's more stuff to talk about. So you gotta come back for that so you already know. It's going to be the same Dolce Dial. It's going to be the same Dolce Channel. So you come on back.